Hi you guys. So a few years ago, I did a series of videos called Blondie's Faves where I talked about my favorite lipsticks of the time. Well, a lot of time has passed. I've tried a whole bunch of new products, of course a whole bunch of new lipsticks, and I wanna bring the series back and talk about my favorite things. So this video is all about my favorite liquid lipstick. The first liquid lipstick I wanna talk about is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Yes, it says cream, as far as I'm concerned, it's liquid, okay? Liquid cream, it's not in a tube, so it counts, okay? Um, this is not a new product, but I love it. As you can see from my little collection that I've started, I just, I love them. They continue to sell them in stores, and I'm going to continue to buy them because they're a great product and because I have a problem. Uh, when I first tried them, I bought Istanbul and Stockholm. Istanbul is this soft pink color and Stockholm is this nude. I got them and I didn't like them. That was my first introduction to NYX and I was like, I paid all this money for these and I hate them. Then I checked out a tutorial by one of my favorite YouTubers on how to apply it and I fell in love. The one I currently have on is Ibiza. It's a nice coral color. The proper way to apply this is not like lip gloss where you just put a little bit on, rub your lips together, boom, you're done. With this, you put it where you need it. So line your lips if that's how you do it and then fill them in or just do some swoops until your entire lips are covered and you do not need a lot there's no reason for you to keep dipping into the tube oh goodness don't waste product okay just and then your lips are all caked up because you got too much on there and you don't know why you walk around looking crazy that's why it doesn't take a lot these transfer a little bit not too much you can barely even see that probably like a little outline I did just refresh this not that long ago so that's probably what it is but these don't come off as much they do come off but not as much and since they leave my lips stained I'm not looking crazy afterwards because my lipsticks all over my drink and my food next I want to tell you guys about pink digger pink digger lip pigment so I first found out about these products when I went to Cocktails with Claire in Atlanta and I went over to the little beauty area and I met Mimi of the Glamatory. Hey Mimi girl. And I told her I was in love with nudes and she told me about these amazing products called Pink Digger. She sells them at her store, The Glamatory. I have just been in love. First of all, they are made by a woman in Atlanta. I'm sorry I do not know your name ma'am, but you are fabulous and she makes them herself. Now, I don't know how she does it. I don't know what the recipe is, but it is petroleum-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and 100% vegan. I follow her on Instagram now, and I've seen the new collections that she's posted, and I just, just wanna say gimme. And she's a fellow Georgian. Y'all know how I feel about supporting the home team, so I have to support her. And she's in the beauty industry. Like, we need to be friends. We need to be friends. Cause I love lipstick, you make lipstick. Like, it's like a match made in heaven. Holla at me, girl. Hit me on the hip. The two colors that I've purchased thus far are District Money Vanity, which is the grayish nude that I have on right now and Claremont Road, which is a brown, a normal nude. But Claremont Road was a very popular color. She sold out of it so many times. I had to make sure that I got my hands on it. Um, and she's so Atlanta that the very first collection that she came out with, every single lip color is named after something in Atlanta. The next collection that she came out with, they were named after major cities. So District Money Vanity, which is the one that I have on now, is really the DMV. And then she has a bunch of other clever names to say the major cities in these areas without actually saying them. Y'all, I never understood the importance of a lip brush until I purchased these. Y'all remember those old school lip glosses with the brush on them that you twist up? Well, these are exactly the same way. They twist up and they give you great coverage. Um, they have this minty thing in them not overpowering like you know everybody used to love those mint lip glosses from Bath and Body Works and sometimes it was so strong it burns your lips these are just like a conditioning amount of mint that makes your lips just super kissably soft and feel moisturized versus 
my lips are burning. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. Like it's like a little hint of peppermint. They're simple and easy to use. They smell great, they look great. And how adorable is this packaging? I'm not even like a big pink person, but whenever I pull these out of my purse, I just feel like such a badass. Do you see this metallic pink lipstick tooth that I just pulled out of my purse? I am somebody important. That's what this says to me. That's, that's what I feel whenever I pull some pink digger out of my purse. Next, sticking with the vegan theme, is Seraphin Botanicals Vegan Berry Tint. It's 44% natural liquid blush for lips and cheeks. And the color I have on is Cream Cherry. I received this product in a monthly subscription service I have called Lip Monthly. And for $10 a month, they send you a little makeup bag full of a bunch of different products. I like them a lot simply because I get products that I've never heard of before. There's nothing on my hand, like, that's not coming off. And I'm fine with that because it's stay proof, it's kiss proof, it's not going anywhere I eat, I drink, I go swimming, take a shower, like I need a make, well, not take a shower, well, whatever. I need a makeup wipe to take this off. Moving on to Julep's Matte Lip Mousse. The color I have on is Smooch. If the name Julep sounds familiar and you're like, Julep, I thought they had nail polish, they do. Julep is a monthly subscription service. As you can tell, I have a thing for monthly subscription service. Julep is a monthly subscription service where they send you nail polishes, but they have expanded past nail polish. This is one of my faves. I love their lipstick also, but it's not matte or liquid, which is why it's not in this review, but this baby is awesome. I just love it, it's so velvety smooth. The color is just amazing. Like the color in this tube is the color on my lips. The payoff is 100% accurate. Um, it is pretty kiss proof. They come off a little bit. I mean, I did just put it on, but still. It dried to matte very quickly. Like I said, it does come off a little bit, but it's not like I kissed it and all of my lips are on my hand. There's still a good amount there and it takes a good bit of elbow grease to wipe it off. Which again, I like. Stain my lips, have some staying power. Definitely check out Julep. Now you can't go on their website and just purchase this outright. You have to be a part of the subscription service. Last but certainly not least is my LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. A few weeks back, I kept making posts about it. Whenever I wear it, I always share it because this lip gloss is amazing. Anytime I'm in the beauty supply store and someone gets near the display, I'm like, hey, you need to try this. I've worn it, it's great. So I tested this product the very first time when I purchased it at the beauty supply store. Then I went to work, you know, for an entire shift and my lipstick stayed for seven plus hours. Like I put it on when I got to work, stayed on the entire time. Eating, laughing, talking, drinking, didn't matter, you know, hours going by, it was still good. The color that I have on is black currant. I love this because it is that intense dark purple that a lot of people want that they're not able to get. Everybody's into the vampy color still that's still trending. And this color is everything. It sells out so quickly whenever I am able to see it. Well, I only need one right now, but <laughs> when I saw it, and I didn't get it the first time and it sold out, I was like, oh, this is something I need to hold on to. And I went on ahead and bought one. And I'm in love. Now, when you apply this product, do not put on a whole bunch. Like, the color payoff is perfect. Like, what you see on the tube, what you see in these tubes is exactly what it is. Like, this is, this is what I have on. It's this purple right here. There's not, you know, sometimes people have the, the film on it to make you think that's what color is inside the tube or something. It just doesn't come out the color that you think it is. No, these are what they say they are. If it's, if it's a coral, if it's a red, if it's a nude, if it's this beautiful black current purple that I have on, that's exactly what you're gonna see. I love these. Like, you don't need a whole lot when you first pull it out do a little swirl to get enough on the brush, pull it out, and that's all you need right there. If you put on too much, your lips are gonna get sticky. It's not gonna be a good look. You're gonna hate it and you're gonna wonder like, well, Blondie loved it. How come I'm not getting the same results? 
You do not rub your lips together. You do not need, you know, 15 dips into the tube. You just need one dip, cover your lips, and you're done. It dries matte pretty quickly. And it's, it's not going anywhere. I love, this is my favorite go-to work lipstick and my favorite go-to going out lipstick because I don't have to do any touch-ups for at least seven hours. With this product, I highly recommend that you moisturize beforehand. So if you know that you're gonna wear that lip color that night or before you go to work, put on some chapstick on your ride to work, put on the chapstick while you're riding to wherever it is that you're going, your, your club event, whatever. And then once you get there and you park, then put it on and go inside and you're good for the rest of the night. It can get to be a little drying. I'm not sure why that is, but the color still lasts and it doesn't crack. So it kind of confuses me, but I still like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this new Blondie's Faves video. Let me know in the comments below what beauty products you want to see my faves of next. Also, have you tried any of the products that I spoke of? If you haven't, links to them will be in the description below. Also, if you have, leave a comment below and tell me what you thought about them. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos to come. For all things Blondies, head to BlondiesLipstick.com and follow me all over social media at Blondies Lipstick. Until next time, mwah!